are going to learn about another group of animals called amphibians. Amphibians are cold-blooded like reptiles, have backbones like reptiles and mammals, but are very different. Amphibians do not have any hair or skin scales on their bodies. They can breathe through their skin as well as through their lungs, and most amphibians spend part of their lives in water. Can you name an animal that's an amphibian? Frogs and toads are amphibians and salamanders too. They are all cold-blooded and don't need a lot of food. They like insects and spiders, worms and tasty snails. They'll wait to catch their meal and snatch it without fail. Amphibians, amphibians, let us name a few. Frogs and toads and salamanders too. They go through metamorphosis, which means they change form. And as adults look different from when they were first born. Frogs lay jelly-like eggs in water. When the eggs hatch, they are tadpoles. Tadpoles do not look like frogs, but will change to look more like adult frogs. This is called metamorphosis. When a mammal is born, it resembles its mother, but amphibians need to go through metamorphosis before they will look like their mother. Their skin is very special for amphibians will use. Their skin to breathe just like lungs, what an important tool. You'll find their skin will blend in well with their surroundings. They might be spotted red or be yellow, brown, or green. Amphibians, amphibians, let us name a few. Frogs and toads and salamanders too. They go through metamorphosis, which means they change form. And as adults look different from when they were first born. different artificial satellites today. Weather satellites help us learn more about the weather. Navigational satellites help different types of aircraft and ships to navigate about the Earth. Scientific satellites help us learn more about our solar system and Earth, while communication satellites enable people to see and talk to each other from all over the world. Sun. 